finally on camera. If you don't know what touch typing is, you probably use four to six fingers to type and you probably wonder what uh, these small bumps on the F and J keys are. You probably always look at the keyboard when you type in your passwords. You probably wonder why there are two shift keys on the keyboard since you only end up using the left one for the most of the time and never use the right shift key. You probably have to look at the keyboard to just find the keys and type. And lastly, your typing speed is probably around 15 to 35 words per minute, uh, which is not bad, but it's not good enough. According to Wikipedia, at least, uh, you have to be able to type at speeds of uh, 60 to 80 words per minute to just keep up with your thoughts. During the 2020 lockdowns, I learned how to touch type. And it's probably only the only positive thing to come out of that year. Uh, my productivity has kind of multiplied on the computer. My typing speed has gone from 40 uh, to around 100 words per minute on a good day. And most of all, typing has become much more enjoyable. The way you uh, connect with the computer is totally different. The way uh, the typing feels is totally different and it's way, way better. I, I don't know how to exactly describe it. Uh, let me show it to you. So typing without touch typing and looking at the keyboard all the time is probably something like this. And knowing touch typing feels something more like this. So yeah, that's how touch typing feels like. It feels as if uh, there's no effort. It's like effortless effort. You don't have to think actively about touch typing. You just type, you, you think about words and you just type on its own. You don't have to actively think about which key to type and your fingers does it on its own. Now I can write my daily journals in 10 to 15 minutes. Not to forget it looks freaking cool for anyone who's seeing you touch typing and they don't know what it is. Without going into too much detail, let me tell you how this touch typing uh, thing works. Touch typing is a technique where you type with all 10 of your fingers and using muscle memory, which means you're not looking at the keyboard while typing. Uh, the F and J keys, they're called as the guide keys. They have these small bumps on them and uh, you, ha you are supposed to feel out on the keyboard and find those gu guide keys before you begin any typing. Once you feel out and find these guide keys, you rest your fingers on the home row. Home row is the center row of letters on the keyboard. Once you rest your fingers on the home row, every finger of yours is mapped to a different part of the keyboard. So you uh, type certain keys only with your ring finger. You type uh, certain keys only with your pinky. And here is a handy chart. You can look at where it shows which finger maps to which key on the keyboard. Uh, pause the video if you want to take a detailed look at it. So you start at the home row, type whatever you want and then once you're done typing you come back to the home row so that you know uh, on which keys uh, your fingers are resting on. I think this is a must learn skill for anyone who uses computer on a regular basis. Uh, this will help them a lot. It's, it's like a modern day life skill. So how do you go about learning touch typing? Well. Practice and lots and lots of practice. It took me about 15 hours to comfortably type without looking at the keyboard and use all my all 10 of my fingers. And it was actually quite frustrating in, initially because I had to unlearn the muscle memory I had already developed, which where I used to type with all, like six fingers. I had to unlearn that muscle memory and relearn a new muscle memory. And in that process, in between, there's a phase where your fingers feel broken on the keyboard and you're literally unable to type anything. You just don't know how. Uh, it, it, it lasted for about two to three hours and then it slowly touch typing started getting better and 
after 15, 15 hours, I was comfor comfortably able to type uh, without looking at the keyboard and using all 10 of my fingers. Also, you don't really need any fancy mechanical keyboard. Any keyboard is fine unless it looks like this. Here are my three favorite online tools uh, where I started practicing touch typing and I will also tell you the order in which you should start with the tools. The first place you, you should start with is typingclub.com. This is a great place for someone to begin uh, learning touch typing. It has hundreds of exercises uh, to teach you touch typing letter by letter. They have great animations in between, they give you uh, tips in between the exercises, they tell you where to place your fingers and which finger to use to type which letter and it's quite a great experience. And you, sh you should spend your initial two to three hours of practice in uh, this website. Uh, you should practice until you are comfortably, comfortably uh, able to reach all the different keys with your fingers like uh, pinky is quite hard initially because you normally don't use it. Once you get a fair idea of, of which keys are tied with which fingers and you are comfortable with reaching all the keys from the home row, that's when you move on to keyboard.com. Keyboard.com is by far my favorite place to practice touch typing. I think I've spent more than 24 hours uh, over the last six months practicing on keyboard.com. Keyboard.com starts by helping you practice individual letters and then understands your typing strengths and weaknesses. The words you make more mistakes at, the letters you are uh, better at. And then starts generating words and sentences to help you uh, increase your speed. Oh yeah, don't forget to sign in to the website so that uh, your progress gets saved and it also generates these cool graphs which shows your progress over time, your speed, your error rate and your speed with individual keys, etc. Also, yeah, you can also compete with people online in battle royale style and it's quite fun. So stick to keyboard.com till you reach the speeds of 50 to 60 words per minute while not making that many errors. Once you reach that 50 to 60 words per minute uh, goal, you should add another tool to your practice sessions. This is 10fastfingers.com. Unlike keyboard.com, here you're punished for making errors. In keyboard.com, you're not really punished for making errors. It just shows up as uh, five errors or six errors. But in 10fastfingers.com, if you make an error, that whole word doesn't get counted. So 10fastfingers.com will help you improve your accuracy and maintain your speed for longer periods of time. This is where you can mix and match between keyboard.com and 10fastfingers.com and uh, practice uh, till you reach the level of accuracy and speeds you desire. These are the three online tools you can use to practice uh, touch typing. Uh, the more you practice, the faster you can type. For me though, it's not really about the speed. It's, it's more about the experience it brings while interacting with the computer. It's, it's totally different. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, get started and learn touch typing. I highly recommend uh, learning touch typing and uh, the amount of time you spend is really worth it. It also brings us to the end of this video. If you have made it thus far, here's a customary donut for you. Uh, like the video and subscribe if you like the content. I'll see you in the next one.